always run discounts. They had one, um, you know, a few weeks back. They had one this week. Um, and I'm sure they're going to have more upcoming. So uh, I saw a few items that I wanted to try, a few items that I knew I wanted, and uh, and decided, hey, what the heck not? I'll just uh, I'll spend a couple of bucks, nothing major, and I'll get a few goodies uh, just to uh, to try out and also to enjoy. So uh, stick around, and we'll crack into this and see what I got from the hookup tackle. As I said, I, I, I kind of got caught by Ben and the hookup tackle and uh, Jeffrey the King and, and all those guys over there. And they were showing a couple of items, some of which I'm well aware of and some of which I didn't even know they had. One of which um, goes alongside of a bait that I have and I love. So uh, we'll start with a few items that I didn't actually, or that I did know that they had, and I wanted to pick up uh, a couple of packages real quick. So from... From uh, Radiocraft, uh, the, remember, Hookup Tackle is a big JDM market uh, supplier. Um, they have some cool discounts going on right now for a lot of their stuff up until uh, until July uh, the 4th. Uh, so you can uh, catch that stuff, hopefully. Um, probably not going to put this video out until after the 4th of July, so I'm sorry if you missed that discount. These didn't come from that sale. These came from a previous sale. <clears throat> but uh, from Radiocraft Japan... Um, they have these awesome new bug baits, right? So there's the, they're like a tube with these little appendages on them. And I got them in two colors. Um, I got them in the... Uh, let me consult the paperwork because I will butcher the name of the colors if I don't consult the paper. So I have Tanaga and Scuppernog. So Tanaga and Scuppernog are the, uh, are the two colors here for these guys right here. These are the RC EB, EBI Chan lures. And these are really cool little, um, like I said, little bug style baits. So they have these little hairs coming off them and they're a solid soft plastic tube style bait, but it's solid, it's not open at the end. And they're teardrop shaped. These are great little punching baits. Um, Great for a Texas rig, great for a free rig. Um, I just, I've had them before, uh, not in these two particular colors, uh, but I, I thought, why the heck not? I'll try some new colors and I'll get a re up of a couple more. They are pretty pricey for what they are. They're, uh, there's only two in a pack, but uh, you know, JDM products, you're going to pay a premium. So I, I said, what the heck not? Uh, next up, there's only a few things here. This is going to be a real short video. Uh, I saw that I did not know they had, but it'll definitely save me. So um, they had these, uh, what they call the troubling throw, treble through pipes. So these are from Valley Hill, and these are literally little barbed tubes, similar to what we do with, um, what I used to do, and I'll, I'll pin the, uh, the link to that video up there. But when you're making a line through bait, if you want to make your own homemade line through soft plastic bait, uh, I use the coffee stirs like you'd find um, at like 7-Elevens and whatnot. The, the solid ones, not the flat double channel brown ones, but the actual black tube straws that are very thin and small, but they're thick wall. Or personally, my favorite was to go use the air duster, the air can duster sprayers, because that plastic is extremely thick walled. Um, but these are individually pre-made little tubes they're cut on the on the angle so you get that nice little chisel point and then they're obviously hollow but they have barbs so once you put them in they're not going to back out of you and you can use these in your small soft plastics they come in two sizes they have the small and the large um, there's a 30 uh, 35 millimeter large and a 25 millimeter is this one the small and you just shove this through your bait your soft plastic and then you can run your you know one uh, um, you know five pound six, eight pound uh, line through this, tie off to your treble, and it makes a line through bait 
out of your soft plastics. Use this on Kytex, use this on anything when it comes to the small. You can use the larger one, obviously, on larger uh, soft plastic swim baits. Um, I thought that was nifty. What got me, again, was the barbs that prevent it from backing out. Because even when I did my homemade, occasionally I would have to do dollop a little super glue on there so it wouldn't pull out of the soft plastic. Um, this is, saves that issue. I give them a try. I still love doing my homemade way. It's cheaper by far, but uh, I thought, you know, why not try a mass manufactured version of it and see if this is indeed much better than uh, what I can do at home. Uh, along with that Valley Hill from the same company, they have these, which is really cool. Again, a large and a small. Small is 30 millimeter, large is 40 millimeter. I'll go with the large one here. These allow you to turn your soft plastic swim bait into a jointed soft plastic swim bait. Same basic premise with the plastic and the barbs, but what this allows you to do is it's barbed on one side of this barbel, and then in the center is a flat piece of the plastic, and then it's got another barbel, and it's barbed opposite side, and it lets you turn your bait into a swim bait um, uh, just by cutting your swim bait in half, your soft plastic in half, uh, maybe chamfering it like you would a traditional hard swim bait, uh, and then you can pin this in the center. I'd probably pin two on a larger one, one in the middle of a smaller bait, and it'll give you that ability for the swim bait's tail to kick free from the main body where your line tie is and where your hook is. And it turns your just standard paddle tail into more of an S waver-esque style. I won't say it's an S waver because I'm sure it's not going to get the exact same action. It won't be balanced like an S waver. Uh, but it'll give you that swim bait action out of a soft plastic bait. Um, great, my idea for this is more like fluke style baits, jerking it and getting that little tail, tail kick, get more action out of it, more so than the actual swimming pattern. But I thought I'd try these two, again from Valley Hill. And finally, a bait that I already have a version of, they came out with a new one, not same company, uh, but I have the Kong. Uh, the Gong is a, uh, it's a bait by JDM producer that was made to, um, to honor the year of the monkey. And it literally is a top water wake bait that can be cranked down, but it's primarily a wake bait with a, uh, a large, um, Colorado, not Colorado. It's more like a, um, I'm going to say it's a Colorado blade, but it's not really, it's got more facets than that. Um, but, uh, but it is a wake bait that has the face of a, of an ape and the body of like a pencil and it's very short and stubby and it wakes. I'm sure I'll, I'll insert a picture up here of it, but I saw from brain knocker, they have this guy from rooms. It's called the, oh, excuse me, it's from rooms and it's called the brain knocker. And what they did was rather than, you know, mimic the gong with the monkey, this company actually built theirs with the head of a bait fish. So this one's going alongside of my gong for my wake bait pattern. Similar, not identical. Um, you can smell the paint coming off it still. But uh, so it's got a metal lip, circuit board thin, but a metal lip. It's a resin plastic uh, body shaped, as you can see, with the bait fish almost, um, almost eel-like. Uh, you know, it could be an eel, it could be a bait fish, um, but uh, it's got really cool eyes. And then it's got a true flat style Colorado. It's not so cupped uh, as the gong is. And saltwater ready hooks with uh, nice little rubber protectors, so I'm not stabbing myself today, which is always uh, pleasing. So, uh, yeah, it's got, and it's called the brain knocker. It says it right there on the back. But typically this is a wake bait. You tie it on, and you just want to run this just surface, and this guy back here will clack clack and draw and throw water back and forth, spit a little bit. Um, these are amazing top water baits. I thought the gong was crazy and it surprised me. I'm hoping this will give me the same uh, amazing, surprising blow ups and uh, fish catches uh, out of something that looks kind of crazy. Sometimes is a huge success. So uh, that was all I got from Hook Up Ta Tackle. Um, Hope you enjoyed this real quick video under, under I think, less than 15 minutes. But uh, <laughs> uh, as always, from me to you, thank you, Hookaholics, for spending a little time with me. As always, 
Uh, I appreciate you, uh, you chiming in, hanging out with me. Drop some comments down below. What do you think of the, uh, the Valley Hill products, the tube that lets you line through, or the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the plastic connector that allows you to turn a, a solid sw uh, plastic into like a swim bait segmented? What do you think of the head knocker? Uh, ha have you ever tried the gong? Have you fished with this? Have you fished with something similar to this with the gong? Uh, share it with me down in the comments. I always love the interaction. And that's what I'm here for. And as always, for me to you, I will catch you on the next cast. Peace, hookaholics.